Passionnel en résidence à l'Institut de recherche sur la science, la société et la, la pu, uh, politique publique. Et nous fait un énorme plaisir de vous accueillir parmi nous aujourd'hui. L'événement va se dé dérouler en anglais, mais si jamais vous avez des questions en français, soyez-vous bien à l'aise de les poser en français pendant la période de questions. I'd like to begin uh, by acknowledging that the land on which we are meeting is the traditional and unceded territory of the Algonquin Nation. We acknowledge the traditional knowledge keepers, both young and old, and we honor their courageous leaders, past, present, and future. So welcome and thank you so much for coming. We very much appreciate your presence today because we know that this will be a very stimulating discussion. Our Institute for Science, Society, and Policy researches and convenes events around a wide range of issues such as science and technology and innovation policy, energy decision making, community consensus building, and risk analysis. This is the third in a lecture series that we have held in a truly wonderful partnership with the Royal Canadian Institute for Science. We have with us this evening Hella Tosin, the past chair of the RCIS, who will be giving closing remarks later on in our program and can tell you more about the work of the RCIS. For us, this is a wonderful opportunity to partner with such a respected institution and put on what we see as, an, an, as important panels to engage and inform the public on the most current issues in science today. The past events were on gene editing, including health opportunities and ethical challenges, as well as the subject of technologies that give people with disabilities the tools to more easily function in society, which included a demonstration of a robot used to help autistic children adapt to human contact. Today we have a big topic with even bigger implications. How humans are interacting with the Arctic environment with impacts like rising temperatures. This is a field in which Canada is playing a key role internationally, due in large part to remarkable leaders such as the speakers you will hear from today. We will be sure to leave enough time for your questions in the Q&A, and you'll be able to meet and talk with the scientists after the formal part of our event. So being the kind of institute that we are, we have a wonderful network of scholars, researchers, and senior level practitioners who work in the areas of science, society, and policy, and, and that has enabled us to easily reach out to the speakers we have this evening. People like Tim Argent Singer of the Inuit Tapirat Kanatomy, Can who will speak about the policy challenges, especially for the Inuit. Dr. John Small of Queen's University, who will talk about science in the Arctic. And Dr. Uh, Jackie Dawson, who is here at the University of Ottawa and will be speaking about the societal impacts. And it's my personal pleasure, as the former Executive Vice President of the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, to introduce our moderator for this evening, Danica Guzni who joined NSERC earlier this year as VP for research grants and scholarships. Danica is going to frame the issues and introduce the panelists. You have um, seen perhaps when you came in the bios of the speakers and uh, we put together those so that uh, we can just get right to the discussion. So it's my pleasure to give the floor over to Danica. Thank you very much, Mark. 